Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we'll be learning what are the differences between in place and parallel or side by side migration in SQL Server. Just wanted to mention a few things uh, in this demo. One is that um, we'll be looking at the difference table, which will show our action item and um, in place and parallel or side by side migration uh, behavior. And number two, that uh, this table also will be linked with this video. And number three, that uh, this video is part of our uh, suite, which is upgrade. Uh, or migration of SQL Server to the higher version. So let's go ahead and take a look on our uh, table. The table has action item and behave behavior of uh, in place upgrade and parallel or side by side upgrade. First action item is upgrade effort. How much effort it takes um, if we do it in place or parallel. So in place it takes minimum effort because um, it'll be uh, all system that will be taken care of uh, all the uh, upgrades um, everything that we wanted to upgrade to that uh, particular uh, uh, SQL server so if you're doing in place upgrade of SQL server you'll be running um, wizard uh, or upgrade wizard or um, uh, upgrade script which will be automated and uh, it doesn't require any data migration however on the other other hand Parallel or side-by-side -side upgrade requires more efforts. It needs to be planned because we need to manually do the migration and it does require data migration. Downtime, um, in-place upgrade requires uh, some downtime uh, because um, once the uh, once you're doing the upgrade with the system, then it, uh, your application will not be able to connect to SQL Server. All the application needs to be down. And on the other hand, the parallel or side-by-side -side upgrade would be that uh, your legacy system will remain online while you're doing all the upgrade so um, basically only time that um, uh, it would be your application will be down is the switching time when once you uh, made sure that you upgraded everything testing is all completed and everything and you're ready to cut over to your new sql server uh, or uh, upgraded SQL Server, that's the only little time that'll require to have application down. So it is minimum or no downtime, basically. Production will be online, as I said, while migration is taking place because our legacy system is still, um, uh, you know, online. The other is configuration changes. Uh, the configuration changes are automated by the system in, in place and application configuration doesn't need to be changed because uh, the SQL Server remains the same everything in sql server will be taken care upgraded right away and application doesn't need to change its connections um and some of the maybe configuration uh, from the application needs to be changed in a way that uh, it support the higher version but uh, that's another matter as far as sql server goes the configuration doesn't need to be changed on in place all the configuration needs to be manually check in application needs to change their connection because it's a different sql server instance uh, server and instance and also it requires the manual check of all configuration system or the user configuration next we have is data transfer data transfer uh, there is no data transfer involved in in place um, and all uh, server integration changes remains intact and gets upgraded by the system such as replication if you have replication mirroring or if you have a link server they all will be upgraded basically in in place by the system you don't need to uh, transfer any data on other hand um, if you're doing parallel uh, the data transfer is must you need to take all the system uh, SQL Server system integration such as replication mirroring link server from one uh, from your legacy uh, production system to your new SQL Server and uh, uh, that needs to be manually done and also checked in um, as up here uh, server name and IP address uh, basically if you're in one network you cannot use the same server name so server name will be changed in parallel but uh, in place nothing will change application can continue to using same server name and IP address again I wanted to mention that only downtime would be the one that uh, uh, when up, uh, upgrade is happening by the system up here um, the server name will change and IP address will change and application needs to reset their connection to point to new server and uh, SQL server instance testing requires in uh, it, it, the, the testing script if you, there are uh, script from the application side that uh, whether the application support uh, new um, SQL server version then testing would be minimum but on the other hand since everything is changed on the 
uh, parallel uh, higher version and SQL Server is changed every testing needs to be upgraded to point to the new SQL Server and all the script needs to be uh, changed and it takes a little bit time uh, rollback uh, the rollback in in place basically is rebuild so this is the only drawback of in place upgrade and usually this is the main reason that a lot of organization will go with the parallel uh, and they are okay to spend time doing all this and going through all this data checklist is because the rollback for the in place upgrade is most of the time it's a rebuild and rebuild would be the system databases and the user databases um, the main thing is that um, uh, in as far as a rollback strategy in in place uh, you take the backups of all the uh, databases configuration and everything uh, as a um, you know before you start uh, upgrade so in that that would be that if you need to roll back you need to do all over uh, you need to rebuild the whole system in in place but uh, in um, as far as um, uh, side by side there is not much really to do if uh, your migration didn't work the testing didn't go well and uh, things are not working for you then your um, legacy system production system is online and uh, all you need to do is uh, just uh, switch your application back to the production system that it was before so that is very easy rollback keep in mind the SQL Server versioning and architecture uh, this will be right here there are uh, some limitations up here in if you're doing in place upgrade you have to do the same architecture 32-bit SQL Server um, you can upgrade in place only to 32-bit and you can't do uh, um, change the architecture from 32 bit to 64 that is not supported in in place upgrade however uh, since it's going to be a new installation everything is going to be manually set in side by side or parallel you can go ahead and uh, uh, do your uh, 64 bit uh, SQL Server installation from 32 bit if it is 32 bit previous version then you can go ahead and do the 64 bit and higher version and you can go ahead and do all the testing of your application these are a few uh, main things basically high level things that's very important uh, as far as uh, understanding the difference between in place upgrade and side by side upgrade in SQL Server so I, uh, I wanted to mention that and this table again I will be uh, we will be putting this uh, link with this video and it will be available on our um, blog in case you need that and discuss with uh, your your team and uh, i hope this video helps